from the Garden of England tonight, Country Fire in Kent at seven, and now on BBC One, Songs of Praise with Diane Louise Jordan. Hello there and welcome to a part of London that can claim world famous past residents including William Shakespeare and Charles Dickens. We'll be exploring the past and present of the London Borough of Southwark. Coming up, the actor who travelled across the world to appear on Shakespeare's stage, the Southwark church which inspired a Dickens bestseller, and comedian Jo Brand reveals her spiritual side. Southwark is a fascinating part of London, bustling with local people, city workers and tourists. Delve a little deeper and you'll find an irresistible pull to the past. When it comes to Shakespeare, most people think about his birthplace, Stratford-upon-Avon, but actually he was living and working in Southwark when the original Globe Theatre was a new build. Ever wondered where the phrase, in the clink, came from? Well, there's your answer. This is all that remains of Winchester Palace, the Bishop of Winchester's London home from the 12th to the 17th century. Our music comes from Southwark Cathedral, the mother church of the Anglican Diocese. You'll find it next to the popular Borough Market and close to London Bridge. With me here in this stunning building are members of churches and choirs from all over Southwark, as well as members of the congregation of the cathedral itself. And we're all ready to raise our voice in song with some fabulous hymns, including this one, a firm songs of praise favourite, Great is Thy Faithfulness.
Many of Southwark's literary giants are remembered in the cathedral, including the bard himself. Hardly surprising, this outstanding memorial draws many people to the cathedral. And the stained glass window above features famous characters from some of his plays. We can't say for sure whether Shakespeare worshipped here, but his brother Edmund certainly did. Essentially, the cathedral was known as the Actors' Church, and Edmund is commemorated here. And the windows in the north aisle of the nave celebrate other famous residents with literary connections, including Samuel Johnson, famous for his dictionary, and the poet and novelist Oliver Goldsmith. The words for our next hymn are taken from John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress, written around 1675. Bunyan preached in a chapel in Duke Street, just around the corner from the cathedral, and his allegory, telling the story of Christian's journey to the celestial city, is one of the most popular books ever published. <laughs> 